Good morning, crew. Today we have another animal dot talk. Uh, we have this time, instead of lions, we have flamingos in the exhibit. If you remember from our last dot talk or animal talk, um, exhibit is where animals live when they're in the zoo. So that's a little bit of vocabulary. It's flamingos in the exhibit. So our first question is, how many flamingos are in the exhibit? I think that there are 10 flamingos in the exhibit, and here's why. I saw a group of three, and then I'm gonna count on from there. So I saw three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. How did you find how many flamingos there were? All right, now I want us to think about what would happen if we take away three flamingos? How many flamingos would be left? I think seven flamingos would be left. And here's why. Took the three flamingos away, and then there's seven left. And I'll count them just to check, double check with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. Now, crew, what happens if two of the flamingos go back? What happens if two of the flamingos go back? How many flamingos would be left? I think if two flamingos would be back, there would be nine, because we know there's seven, eight, nine. We did counting on again. We have this one flamingo over here. We actually just solved two math problems. We started out with 10, then we subtracted, and there was three. And that meant that there were seven flamingos left. 10 minus three equals seven. So we had seven flamingos, and then we added two more flamingos, and that meant we had nine flamingos. So this strategy that we first started with our last dot talk could actually be used for addition and subtraction. We take away uh, flamingos from the exhibit so we can subtract and we put flamingos back so that we can add. I'm very excited to see all of your wonderful work as you work on both subtraction and addition problems within 10. Uh, please turn on this microphone so that me and Ms. Sagala um, or your, and your other teachers can see all the wonderful work that you're doing. Have a great day and we hope to see you soon.